Expressionism 1890-1933. It was a reaction to the passive style of the Impressionist. Early Expressionism was considered part of Post-Impressionism. In fact, one of the pioneers of Expressionism was the Post-Impressionist Vincent van Gogh. Expressionism is characterized as a deeply personal style in art. An expressionist artist communicates personal feelings about the subject rather than just painting what he or she sees. The message of the artist takes precedence over the realistic depiction of the subject. The representation of an object would sometimes be distorted or sometimes be replaced with imagery to better communicate the artist's opinion and heighten the impact upon the viewer. This resulted to artworks that were expressive and subjective. Expressionist artworks are characterized by thick applications of paint or impasto, giving texture and evoking an intense and violent mood of the work. The colors used are bold, often strong, and unnatural. The brush strokes are loose and freely applied. Other pioneers of the movement were Paul Gauguin and Edward Munch. Edward Munch was a Norwegian painter and print maker. He was born in 1863 in Norway. Edward Munch's life is full of tragedy and death. He lost his mother when he was five and his elder sister a few years after. One of his younger sisters suffered from mental illness and his brother died a few months after getting married. These experiences were later expressed through his art. That is why most of his well-known artworks use images that evoke the feeling of anxiety, isolation, rejection, and death. One of his most famous works is The Scream. Painted in 1893, this artwork exemplifies the characteristics of Expressionism. The painting offers an insight to the artist's inner anxiety, which he called soul painting. It placed more importance on the meaning the artist is conveying rather than showcasing technical skill. The inspiration behind the painting came while he was walking down the road with his friends at sunset. To others, this might inspire a beautiful landscape, but for Munk, this simple outing turned into a haunting moment of extreme existential crisis. In what sounds like a panic attack, Munk is overwhelmed by feelings of exhaustion while also struck by an almost violent wave of anxiety. Cubism, 1907 to 1922. The cubist style derived its name from the cube, a three-dimensional geometric figure composed of strictly measured lines, planes, and angles. Cubism was a style that grew from the collaboration of Pablo Picasso and George Braque. It was inspired by the geometric style and composition of Paul Cezanne. Its revolutionary approach to represent reality redefined fine arts. Foremost among the Cubists was Spanish painter or sculptor Pablo Picasso. Cubism developed in the aftermath of Pablo Picasso's shocking 1907 Les Demoiselles d'Avignon in a period of rapid experimentation between Pablo Picasso and George Braque. Cubism is characterized by showcasing an object from multiple points of view and at different times. The subject is then reconstructed out of these different planes of views. 
Cubist artworks were a play of planes and angles on a flat surface. In earlier styles, subjects were depicted in a three-dimensional manner formed by light and shadow. In contrast, the Cubists analyzed their subjects' basic geometrical forms and broke them up into a series of planes. Then, they reassembled these planes, tilting and interlocking them in different ways. Cubism concentrated on the two-dimensional surface and rejected the techniques of linear perspective and modeling. Dadaism 1916-1924 Dadaism or Dada was an anti-art movement that started in 1916 in Zurich, Switzerland. It was a reaction to the First World War and the rebellion against the ruling establishment as well as the art institutions that supported it. It was a movement against everything that the Dadaists believed contributed to the First World War. They chose the child's term for hobby horse, Dada, to refer to their new non-style. The Dada art was intentionally off-putting. It was scandalous and shocking. It undermined the established rules and traditions of art through demonstrations, publications of manifestos, and exhibitions of absurd art. These artworks were outrageous. The Dadaists believed that art can be made of anything and the idea behind the art was more important than the art itself. Dada artists are known for their use of ready-mades, everyday objects that could be bought and presented as art with little manipulation by the artist. The use of the ready-made forced questions about artistic creativity and the very definition of art and its purpose in society. One of the most famous Dada creations is the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci manipulated by Marcel Duchamp adding a mustache and beard, titled L-H-O-O-Q. The Dadaists also sought to find new ways of presenting their ideas that were not painted by the traditional concepts of art. This resulted in new experimental forms and techniques in art that were a precursor and inspiration for later modern and contemporary art movements. Surrealism 1924-1966 Surrealism was an art movement that started in 1924 by a writer, poet, and Dadaist Andre Breton. It started as a literary movement but was adopted to the visual arts. Surrealism was influenced by the works of the psychologist Simon Freud. Freud stated that dreams were people's subconscious way of dealing with personal issues and realities. With this mindset, surrealists believed that dreams and subconscious were as real as the waking state and set to free the creative power of the subconscious. Surrealists expressed their art through a realistic depiction of objects but is set or distorted beyond the capabilities of reality. It combines objects or elements together that would never be together in real life. Because of these illogical arrangements, surrealist artworks give a dreamlike quality that can be cheerful as a dream or can be as terrifying as a nightmare. 
one of the most recognizable surreal artworks is The Persistence of Memory by Salvador Dali. The painting depicts a number of melting clocks in a barren landscape. Abstract Expressionism, 1943-1965 Abstract Expressionism was a movement in the 1940s that developed in New York, USA. It is divided into two distinct styles. The first is called Action Painting. It is an energetic style in which the paint is splashed, dripped, or spilled onto the canvas. The style is spontaneous and impulsive. One of the most well-known abstract expressionist painter, Jackson Pollock, practices this style. Jackson Pollock is named Jack the Dripper because of his trademark style of dripping and splattering paint on a canvas placed on the floor. The other is called Color Field Painting. This style is more passive. This uses flat areas or fields of color inviting the viewers to contemplate and create an emotional response. Like its counterpart, color field paintings were large to create an impact more personal to the viewer. An abstract expressionist artist known for this style was Mark Rothko. Optical Art, 1964 to present. In 1964, a new art form came into the scene called Optical or Op Art, as named by Time Magazine. Op Art is an example of kinetic art, an art form that fools the eyes into thinking that the artwork is moving. This optical illusion is achieved by the use of geometric designs arranged in a careful mathematical pattern. Op art was a type of abstract art made of geometric shapes. These shapes and patterns were chosen for their designed illusion rather than its content. Earliest op art were black and white, which later developed to use vibrant colors. This style was applied in different mediums such as interior design, fashion, advertising, album art, and etc. It became very popular during the latter part of the 1960s but it quickly waned after. <music> 